What's up guys, well, my dear, I'm back for video. Today we're doing a review on the FV201A45, a tier 7 heavy tank from the British, uh, not tech tree, but it's British, but it's not from the tech tree, because this is a premium tank. So this is a tank uh, I got actually recently a store, I think about maybe three months ago, when they did the promotion two and a half months ago. This tank along with the uh, AC4 Sentinel um, deal, which I thought, I thought was a very good deal. 5,000 um, gold for both the tanks. 3,000 gold for a tier 7. It's pretty good. And this tank actually is based off of the Black Prince. Now, this is not as good as the Black Prince. It looks very different. And is it's got... Yeah, 2.7 base. How much do we have? I think we have more, but that's after stuff. We have 3,000 on the dot. 3,000. We have a 3.2 second reload. But the Black Prince has a 3.5, but you get that down at like 3.1 something. So it's got slightly less DPM. I believe it has like 100 more DPM, the Black Prince. And I think it's got like more speed. It's got more armor. I think it's actually got more hit, more hit points? 1,500. How many hit points do we have? No, it's the same amount of hit points. It's a little better in every aspect, but you know, it's a tech tree and I don't keep my tech trees forever. My tech tree tanks because I'm going on the line and I have to buy the Carnarvon Sumo, which I'm doing soon. But actually, I'm thinking I'll be doing a video. This is going to be a funny video buying the mouse chin, but playing it stock. So 50% crew, um, uh, you know, APCR fine, and then HE, and then AP. That's it. No equipment, no, you know, equipment, no provision. Pro some provisions, some consumables, but. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see that. But I think that's going to be a, a fun video for you guys, and maybe not so fun for me. But let's get into this tank. I think this tank looks very nice, very beautiful, along with that camo, the U-Rock camo, which is the British flag. It, just, it looks amazing. So let's get into the um, equipment. I want um, more DPM, because we kind of... I think our pen's all right. 180 is... Or 171 is all right, a little bit. Uh, you're not going to struggle too much. You might struggle a little bit against tier 8s, but that's kind of given. Lower my aiming time because my aiming time is just 0.4 seconds less than my um, regular time. So I want to lower that because I'm not going to be sniping. And then my dispersion is pretty good because this is this is a high DPM gun, so the dispersion is good. Aiming time will be good after I equip it. Uh, defense system, not going to be ramming it, but I need more hit points. And these are, uh, the rest is self explanatory so, what was it? Um, let's actually get to, a, or let's look at the upgrades first. Sorry, guys. Jumping ahead. The armor is all right. Like I said, the gun's amazing. And the speed's actually pretty good. 30 kilometers for a heavy tank is pretty good because it weighs 55 tons, which is kind of like the A25. Anyways, um, yeah, very good. Speed is all right. Um, the gun's amazing. And the armor is all right, too. And I actually just played this tank very recently. Uh, I was like, oh, this tank is very fast, and I did get a very nice battle in it. How much? Actually, I don't think it's on here. You can't see it. Oh, what? Apparently, replays are um, disabled. Let me fix that, guys. Where is that? Core replays. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. That sounds about right. I hope we should be good. Let's get to a battle. So like I said, the speed's all right. I was playing it, and I was like, oh, geez, this is really fast, because it is. And the gun's amazing. It's low alpha. The only thing bad about the gun is it gets this low alpha. And that's really bad, because um, usually at this time, tier 7, you have 200, 300 alpha. Well, yes, longer reloads. And yes, you might have less DPM, like 300 less DPM. But you do have that um, higher alpha. So that is a key changing. We're, we have a Black Prince on our team, and we're against Tier 8, so that's not good. Okay, so the gun's amazing, get a lot of damage pretty quickly. Uh, but you also have um, Tier 8, so that's going to be they have way more hit points. This actually has, this Black Prince has a lot of hit points because he's running the, um, the sandbags. Both sandbags, not sure, I know you can run 1500 plus both sandbags, plus the extra bonus. The three things you can run on this. You can get a lot of hit points. This one is only one thing you can run, that's why it's only 1590. So that is a big difference. All over here, let's go to the left of Black Prince. We're all going left. 
Or, sorry, right. So it's my left. We're all going right, it looks like. I don't know what our Tiger 2 is doing, or Black Prince is doing here. Just saying. Push up with him, and we're all going right, it looks like. So I guess we'll be consolidated in a nice area. And make sure, guys, to stay to the end of the video and like, comment, subscribe, because it is free, and I really appreciate that. Let's sit here and. Actually, let's not sit here. And our sides are very weak. Sides, you will get pen. In the back, you'll easily get pen. That's a huge slap in the back. So you gotta be very careful about circling. Let's push up. Like I said, I'm weak on the sides. I don't like to expose my sides. Definitely, when crossing that ridge, when tanks over there, and, and you're in a tank, obviously, uh, you definitely need to um, turn your turret to that side. No, I see who's looking at me. This guy, I gotta get. Gotta get this guy. Don't shoot me. 310 bounce. Nice. Where did he bounce it? Uh, also found out, guys, recently. I found out how to, if you right click, at least for me, I can look without turning my turret. So I, I kept looking usually without when turning my turret and what that happened. Almost gets to me. Let's push him. Still haven't got any shells into him, but I will get this shell in a couple seconds. We're gonna push him, but our Black Prince is getting tear to shreds, and he just died. And our Thunder Pressure is not too great. Back here. It's a 5v7, so we're losing hit tanks very quickly, more quickly than I would want. If I can use this Black Prince as cover, then I can kind of. I want to get this ISU. Yeah, he just shot. Nope, he didn't just shoot. 640 bounce. Very strong holding hold down capabilities in this tank. He looks like he fired a premium, so that's probably why he. Um, Head through my uh, mantlet. Or maybe my mantlet or my side, I don't know. I uh, accidentally shot. Let's go over here. This is a lost cause to side. I gotta move. And he looks like he's gonna come behind me. That's a very strong tank. Nice. Stop showing him. And then you see there's a very fast reload, but he did get a nice shell into my uh, WT. I don't want to block him because he's gonna, you know, he's gonna get killed. Two takes two. Yeah. Let's, this is not going to be a victory, it looks like. These tier 8 destroying me. It's not good against tier 8s, but most tanks aren't good against tier 8s. Very few tanks that are good against, sorry, not tier 8s, but the tanks above them. How would I bounce them? Like, yeah, I want to pretend that. Bounce that. Not good, guys. Lost a bunch of hit points early wasn't good. So that is bad things, is against tier 8, so you're not going to do great due to the, because you're not too amazing in each, the only thing you're really amazing at is your, um, gun, so you gotta be careful with your armor on the other stuff. The front is armor is amazing, I would say, against tier 6s, and 7s deal bounce, and 8, we got a, I would say over a thousand, close to a thousand damage bounce, or not over, because of the um, T-54 shot, plus the ISU shot. That's 900 right there, 950. So that's a lot of damage right there. I mean, that's just for two shots that we just bounced. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. We're in the next. Oh, and we just got into a battle. That's nice. We're against tier six this time, which is good, guys. We'll do a bunch of damage, hopefully. Then we'll get out damage. Hopefully, we got a lot of damage. I don't know. You have to die relatively late in the game to do a lot of damage. And we're only two tier sixes. It's just mostly tier seven, which is eh, fine, I guess. Yeah, for a sure. This tank, like I said, is a lot like a black prince. The black prince is better, I would say. And this, I bought it. Yeah, the black prince is better than this tank, and this tank wasn't, you know, free. But I'm not gonna keep black prince forever, so I might as well just buy this tank, keep this tank. So I thought that was cool. That's worth. That's worth it. If you don't have the black prince, you're never you're not gonna get that tank. This tank is definitely three thousand gold is worth it. I'm not sure if any any much more money would be worth it. Did get shot from the 45 TP. Happy Ha, actually, that's actually pronounced Happy Ha. I, I've seen. Um, even though it's spelled Happy Cha, but that's where it's in English, so it's kind of all translated. Nikki. Let's be amazing. Ammo around that tiger. No. Don't shoot me. Alright, we lost 400 hit points so far ish. 
and maybe you've only done like 150. That's just, he just fired, <sighs> bounced him unfortunately, and we get shot from it looks like our, that AM Max is not good. Uh, lost half, half health already, and only did like 300 damage. I need to pull back. Let's pull back over here, I'll we'll play a little less aggressively as I'm playing way too aggressively for this tank right now. The tank can't play aggressively against tier 6s. Very strong tank, but we're also kind of getting flanked since all of our other tank, most of our tanks are on the left side. There's only one other tank. But then you go up against tanks like the Tiger 7 or another heavy tank, which has 200 alpha damage. Yes, two second longer reload, but way more alpha damage. And then you get out traded by every single tier 7 and every single tier 6. Or equally traded. Too. You could be equally or out traded by every single tier 6 and 7 tank. So that comes a problem with these fast firing guns. This Tiger 1 is stock, which is a horrible decision. You know, you can't side to run stock, you just need to upgrade it, but he's gonna die. Seconds. We're getting shot by our tiger. It looks like didn't even pen that one. Looks like we're gonna die in a couple seconds. Couldn't get that kill on him. We did die, unfortunately. I don't think we did too much damage this game. This excuse me. The last game in this game are good examples for um, showing this because we're not against we're all against very strong tanks. Tier eight in this mobile this battle is the tiger, which is a very strong tank. Let's uh, get out of this battle. I'll see you guys in a little bit when I'm in the next battle. Hopefully, it will be just be like me, and then the rest are tier 6s, so or very few tier 7s, so we get some nice damage out. Alright guys, so that one, last one, was a defeat, and we are against tier 8s again. Ugh, not gonna be good. Especially have some good tanks. That SU, good tank. Tiger, good tank. VK, good tank for dealing damage and bouncing shots. And then further than that, it's good at... Uh, Got a lot of things. So let's get in. Let's go left with my. And then there's an, actually a Titan Nature in this um, team, which I just finished doing my um, Titan Mark One review. So go check out that. I didn't didn't get this tank because I've heard some mixed opinions. I wasn't gonna get it, but I decided against doing it. So um, you guys can feel free choice to make. Uh, feel free to make your choice. It's also like ten dollars too, so it's not the end of the world too. It's not that great. No, it's pretty cheap. I mean, it is a little bit expensive when you, can, when you get 5 for $5 and you get a tier 6 and a tier 4. But it is alright. No, it's not a bad deal, but it's not an amazing deal. Since the take is not that great. Nice SU's finished off. Only got one shot to him, but at least we did some damage. So it's kind of a push shot. I want to play really super aggressive. I don't know why, but I just want to play aggressive. Once, if he's, once they start like losing a lot of tanks, then I can play like ultra aggressive. About who's oh Ferdinand and I can't pen him frontally except that bottom play I can pen him. But that has bad armor against tier eight, so tier sevens. Yeah, I'm not gonna pen it too easily. Oh, I also have a little bit of low pen I would say because it's that pew pew gun. Is what you can call it. Shoots a lot. Has very low pen. But we can get this Ferdinand. Yeah, he might shoot me. But yeah, we got him. I can kind of encircle him. I kind of can't due to our bad-ish mobility. Uh, we didn't help. He is hitting us really good. We are immobilized, not move. We did. They, they, they teammate did kill him. Lose. All my hit points in that encounter, but we did some damage, so I can't complain since we're gonna win this game. So might as well do some damage. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my hit points, but do some damage. Well, in the let's get this VK. This VK has gotta be like, it's got, look at that armor. Shoot, even the back is armor. All right, I gotta. I'm sorry, T49, but I gotta get in there and get some shots. He has more, but uh, let's just see how fast we can go. Let's go. He's kind of on the side of me. But yeah, we're going pretty fast. 30 kilometers. Bam. Top speed right there. Uh, that is moderately fast due to the weight and um, the stuff. 
The speed, all right. Uh, the gun's pretty good, except that pen's not so great. The awful damage, but the high rate of fire makes it all better. And the um, armor is good, frontally. Except maybe that uh, cupola, I believe I say yeah, cupola, and then that lower plate is going to be very weak. But for the most part, it's pretty strong. That's my review. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.